Hey there, it's Brittany. I'm back with an unboxing from Beauty and the Bead Shop. So this is from their live sales, not their website. Um, I stopped going to live sales because one, I was spending too much money, but I'm having a hard time. Um, a couple of other reasons. Uh, I, Facebook has just been the worst and it's been like freezing and all that stuff. And then I have a hard time with so much going on with like my date. Like I have a, a full-time job and outside of full-time job with YouTube and everything. Like I don't have time to sit through a three hour beat show. So, um, but Garrett had these awesome, uh, crow beads. Um, Julie had them and I asked him, you know, Hey, do you have any of these left? And he did. So I did sit through, um, one show and didn't buy very much. And then he sent, he sent me pictures of the crow beads. So I got those, which I'll show you in just one second. And then there's a second order here and I just got another order from this week. So this is a few weeks worth of stuff. Um, so this I did get from the show. It's just a random grab bag, which was $2.50. So just some glass beads. Um, oh, some cute little crystals. Nice matte color. Those are really cute. Very geometric. Some, oh, that's a good blue. Small um, blue crystal rondelles. Some little black sea beads. Um, a button. It's like a nice teal. And some glass beads. Those are pretty. Ooh, a cloisonne. We've got some kind of stone. And then some randoms. Okay. And then this is everything else. Like, these are all the crow beads. Okay, so I'll show you what they look like. So they're kind of like pony beads. Uh, at some of, uh, I've heard different words for these. Pony beads, crow beads. Padres, it just depends on where they're from, like what country, and you know, then they have a different name. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna call them crow beads. Um, a really nice like mustardy orange yellow. Got a nice matte tan, beige, I love those. These are gonna be really great filler beads. Um, these were $3 a strand. Uh, really great filler beads for, you know, my tribal stuff. Some shiny black. And they're a little dirty. I can just wash them. Are these ceramic? You know, I can't tell. Uh, I think they're glass. Yeah, they're glass. And then, um, my sorry, my allergies have been acting up for like two days. They're really bad right now. That same beige, but in um, glossy and shiny. I think I like I like them both really. They're it's like a, a nice like dolce de leche color. Um, some uh, matte black, a matte red. Those would look good with some gemstones for sure. Um, a matte like peach. Love those. A shiny peach, but a little bit more transparent. Oh, those are really great. Um, an opaque red. And this is not my normal color palette, but this is all he had in these colors. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, that kind of opens my mind to different color palettes. So very cool. Um, a dusty purple in matte. Um, a clear, like white clear and white and then a, like a matte brown purple yeah it's more brown than purple it's funny because it's very similar to this color but this one's more purple and this one's more brown so that was that one well it's one day which was like oh and I forgot to show you these were supposed to be these were two to, at one dollar and fifty cents a strand um, and they called them yellow, pale yellow, but they're, they're, um, they're more, I mean, on screen they're looking yellow, but in like person, they look a little bit more like buttercream, which is fine. I think they're nice. They have, they have good, um, good pearls. So got that strand, which is 10 millimeter. And I got this strand, which was eight millimeter. So like those. And then, um, so that was one just those pearls in that like little mix bag was one day. I didn't really buy much that day. And then I also include, I asked him for the crow beads separately. And then, um, so then a second day, I really didn't, I only bought some of the 
like um they do like blowouts at the fr at the beginning like anywhere from a dollar to three dollars and i just got i got like 12 of these like little mix things and i haven't opened them so let's do that and i got a lot of cane glass so or furnace glass whatever you want to call it i just really like these and sometimes they're not easy to find and if they are they're a little bit more expensive so i thought these little bags for a dollar fifty were pretty good and i just like the variety like you could just use one or two on a, a necklace or a bracelet or something and that could be the focal and i just think they're really cool so we've got some different shapes we got like a flower I'm just gonna push I'm not gonna go through every bead I'm just gonna show you an up close of the, the hand and you can pause if you'd like to see each of the beads but I just love these they're very like I don't know like they, they look very 80s but very like robotic I don't know technology <laughs> I don't know what where my brain goes sometimes okay so that was one bag Then this bag was ceramic beads. And I, you've seen that I have these. I can't remember where I got them from. I had, oh, eBay. I got them in yellow, green, and orange. I didn't know that they had white anywhere. And there was only one in this little bag. Um, and then we've got some little hearts in different colors. I love those. Oh, I like that purple one a lot. You know I love hearts. Okay. Then um, we have some more cane glass and uh, it was just like the same the same thing. So I'm not gonna go through um, those. I got these check flowers. Really cool. Like I haven't seen these before with the stripes and the blue. Like the blue stripes throughout and then they've got some of them got a B on them silver and purple thought those were really cool and then um, I don't know these are like those little mushroom button pearl buttons they're um, Picasso well some of them are and oh there's one like little rondelle in there but these are Picasso on different um, finishes. Oh, another rondelle too. So we've got like a blue Picasso, white Picasso, like a, a clear Picasso, crystal Picasso. Some of these are really nice. I think we use as buttons or little drops. Next, there were some little lamp work flower beads. Aren't those pretty? I can see those on a memory wire bracelet. Those would be really nice. I tend to do that with lamp work as memory wire for some reason. My, my memory wire bangles, not just regular memory wire bracelets. Here's a different type of cane glass. So these were smaller, so they're much more in the baggies. I just love these. I love them. They make me so happy. They're so fun to look at. Oh no, one's broken. That makes me sad. And yes, I haven't forgotten there's a huge distash haul that I still haven't filmed and it's just like weighing on my mind. Um, okay, and then we have some check glass. Thought those were really cool. Don't really know what that shape is. Nuggets maybe? Working glass, furnace glass, another furnace glass more of the bigger size and then um, a baggie of leaves check glass leaves so all the colors you can possibly think of in there so love those all right well thank you for watching um if you want to check out garrett's group which is beauty in the bead shop dot com well the website's beauty in the bead shop dot com i think beauty in the bead is or bead shop i'm not sure what the name of their group is but i will leave all the links down below um stay tuned for goldie she's super cute please like subscribe and share i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day bye bye thank you silly goose you turn around and goldie's hanging out back here on her back the way she loves to sleep yeah you're the silly goose right right look at those teeth hi cutie hi i love you hey you hi 
kitty. Yes, you're a cutie.